Hi, this is Jeff Burbrink. I work with the Purdue Extension Service in Elkhart County. And today I'm going to do a little lesson here on a problem that's fairly common in Elkhart County on maple trees uh, during the first week of June every year. Now, as I'm taking a little shot here of my lawn, you'll see that in the grass you'll see a few leaves laying here and there underneath this maple tree. And it's a normal maple tree, really hasn't got any issues or anything like that, but their leaves are falling off. And I often get concerns from people about they think their tree is going to die from this issue. So we'll take a few minutes here to talk about what it is, what causes this problem, and how we can go about correcting it. Well, the name of this problem that we're seeing here in this, underneath this tree is called Maple Leaf Petiole Boar. Now that's a big long name for a very, very tiny pest. It's actually a small wasp, and you don't have to worry. This isn't the kind of wasp that goes along and stings people. This is a wasp that feeds on other kinds of insects, and then eventually, uh, when the time comes right, it lays an egg inside the stem of the maple leaf. Now, or the, the name of that stem on trees is also called a petiole, and you'll see here's the petiole on this maple tree leaf right here. So you see the petiole stem right here. If you look very closely on this, I'll try to get that up close to the camera, you'll see a dark lesion right there where just about where the leaf attaches to the petiole and that is caused by the maple leaf petiole bore. The adult wasp, female wasp, comes along lays an egg inside that stem that egg hatches and that small little larva inside that stem feeds on the tissue in there. And eventually that will turn black because it's losing access to water and that will dry up and then this will eventually, because the wind is blowing, the leaves will uh, eventually break off the tree and flitter to the ground. So, uh, what should we do about this issue? Um, it's really difficult to treat these because the insect itself is inside that stem. No insecticide in the world is really going to get to it and really do very much. So then you have to look at the number of leaves that are underneath the tree and say, is this really going to cause us a problem? And the answer is no. It's, it's going to be less than 5% of the leaves on the tree. Really, that is not a big issue. Um, the leaves themselves will easily dry up and, and get chopped up by a lawnmower. Or if you're, uh, if you're a real picky person, you can go ahead and pick those leaves up and, and uh, just destroy them. The, the piece of the stem itself, this piece right here, is going to stay up in the tree and the bore actually usually stays with that stem uh, up in the tree, eventually falling to the ground and creating a little cocoon underneath the ground and the next year it will come out and do the same thing that its parents did. So the, the real answer to the problem is, ah, just don't worry about it, just think of it as one of those wonderful things that Mother Nature does to uh, Keep us keep life interesting and exciting. So uh, with that, I'm going to leave you. And if you want some more information, I suggest you Google uh, Kentucky Maple Petiole Boar. They have a wonderful publication down at the University of Kentucky that will explain a lot more about the history of the boar and that sort of thing. Otherwise, have a great day.